morning children i hope all of you are safe and stay at home children today i have brought something very special for you can you guess what is that yes fruits children do you like fruits yes of course everyone likes fruits why because every fruit has a different taste every fruit has a different color and every fruit has a different vitamin in it that's why we advise him to take fruits people at any age can eat fruits children can you say where do we get fruits from yes very good we get most of the fruits from tree children do you think that we get only fruits from the tree no we get so many things from the trees actually saying trees are very useful in our life and they play very important role in our everyday life but we don't remember it and we don't realize it also see while talking about the uses of trees i can remember one wonderful poem written by kavi perarasu vairamuthu on trees now i would like to share that poem with you children are you interested yes let me start unna kani odunga nilal udalukku marundu unarvukku virundu adaiya kudil adaikka kadavu alagu veli aada thooli tadava thailam thaalikk ennai erikka viradu maram dan maram dan ellam maram dan maram dan maram dan manidan maram dan pirando tottil marathin ubayam nadando nadai vandi marathin ubayam elidino pencil palagai marathin ubayam manando maalai sandanam marathin ubayam nadando paadagai rubber marathin ubayam irando savapetti paadai marathin ubayam erindo sudalai viragu marathin ubayam maram dan maram dan ellam maram dan maram dan maram dan manidan maram dan manida manidanaga venduma marathidam va ovvoru maramum bodhi maram dan manida manidanaga manida venduma marathidam va ovvoru maramum bodhi maram dan children what a wonderful words on tree yes in the same way i am going to sing a song about the uses of trees look at these pictures children what do you see there look at the first picture what the children are doing there they are playing hide and seek look at the second picture what are they doing there they are playing swing look at the next picture what the children are doing there they are sitting under the tree and chatting with their friends look at the next picture children on girl is treating her guest with wonderful fruits look at the last picture what do you see there many birds and small animals living on the tree these are the uses of trees see i am going to sing a song for you based on these pictures shall i start are you interested okay some trees fall playing hide and seek some trees fall playing swing some trees fall chatting with our friend some trees fall treating our guest trees are very very useful and you never ever cut them trees are very very useful and you never ever cut them some trees for home for animals some trees for home for birds some trees are 
bringing back our memories come please so member of our family please so very very useful and you never ever cut them please so very very useful and you never ever cut them Children, I hope you all enjoyed the song. Okay, thank you. Children, you may think why I am talking about the fruits and talking about the uses of trees from the beginning to till now. Yes, today I am going to tell you a story about a tree and a farmer. The topic of the story is. the apple tree and the farmer children many years ago there was a farmer do you know who is a farmer a farmer is a person one who works in the farm in tamil we say vivasai do you understand children yes there was a farmer he was living in a small village do you know the meaning of village gram that village was on the hill side and there was a small forest near by his house the farmer had some land where he grew many vegetables there was also an apple tree in his farm do you understand children okay when the farmer was very small When he was a boy, he used to play hide and seek under the tree with his friends. Do you know what is hide and seek? In Tamil we say "kanna muchi vilayathu." Children, have you ever played hide and seek with your friend under the tree? Yes, very good. So like that only, the farmer also, when he was a very small boy, he used to play. Hide and seek with his friends, and he used to climb on the tree and play swing with his friends. Children, what is swing? Unjal adal. You understand what is swing? Swing means unjal adal. And also, he used to sit under the tree and chat with his friends. Above all, the farmer and his family. enjoyed the tastiest fruits from the apple tree yes the days and the years passed by the farmer the little boy grown up into a man so now he is the farmer he took all the responsibilities of the family like farming in the land maintaining the family and all the farmer has children also and he has a daughter that daughter and her friends used to play under the tree how the farmer played when he was a very small boy and the family were continuously enjoying the fruits from the tree the fruits were very delicious so they enjoyed eating the fruits and again the years passed now the large apple tree became old so it stopped to bearing fruits it gave only few fruits okay now what the farmer thought the farmer thought why to keep this tree unnecessarily because no use from this tree it is not giving any fruit so i must cut this tree from this place so that i can get more place where i can grow more vegetables also by using the woods i can make furniture for my house so meanwhile what happened many birds and animals came to live on that 
tree. So the farmer thought like that. No use of keeping this tree anymore. Okay. I have to cut this tree. So what he did? The next day he brought an axe. Started cutting the tree. Children do you know what happened? As soon as he started cutting the tree. The birds and the animals. Which were living on the tree came out making lot of noise. On hearing that noise, the farmer's daughter and her friends came out from their house and saw what was happening there. They were very much shocked. What was happening there? The farmer was cutting the tree. The girl and her friends and the animals and the birds all made lot of noise. Everybody requested the farmer not to cut the tree. But the farmers were very much adamant. No, he did not care about anybody's any request. He was going on cutting the tree. Children, do you know what happened? Suddenly, the farmer looked up. He found a apple on the top of the tree. You know what he did? He plucked the fruit and started eating the fruit. As soon as he started eating the fruit, children do you know what happened? He got back all the memories which he experienced when he was a very small boy. How he played hide and seek with his friends. How he played swing with his friends. How he played chatting with his friends. How he and his family enjoyed the fruits. So he got back all the memories. So he realized that my daughter also must get the same experience how I had when I was very small. So he decided not to cut the tree. And the farmer called her daughter and promised her that she will never cut the tree and she and her friends can make use of the place as their playground. Children, did you all understand the story? Yes. Do you like the story? Yes. Okay children, look at this picture. We also play these games every day. Do you play? Yes. So, do you agree? That trees are very important in our life? Yes, we agree that trees are very important in our day-to-day -day life. Trees stopped yielding fruits. After some years, the tree grew old. So, it stopped giving fruits. Farmer decided to cut the tree. So, what did the farmer do? He decided to cut the tree. Tree. What he thought? He may get more space. There he can grow many vegetables and he can use the wood and make furniture. So, what is the next one? While cutting the tree, bird came out making sounds. Farmer saw an apple on the top of the tree and he ate the apple. He got back all the memories. After getting the memories back, what he decides? He decides that he will never cut the tree and he promised his daughter also that he will never cut the tree and she can use the tree under the tree as the playground. Children, did you all understand the story? Yes. Now, I am going to say some sentences from the story only. Okay? You have to say whether those sentences are true or false. The farmer lived in a town. Children, where did the farmer live? Yes, he lived in a village. So what is the sentence given there? The farmer lived in a town. Now tell me, this sentence is true or false. Very good. The farmer live in a town is a false statement. Okay. Look at the second sentence children. Read out the second sentence. The farmer 
and an apple tree in a farm. Children, again recall the story. What was there on his farm? He had an apple tree. Is that statement is true? Yes, very good. The second statement is true. The farmer had an apple tree in a farm. Look at the third sentence, children. Can any one of you get up and read? The daughter and her friends asked the farmer to cut the tree. Is that true? Yes or no? No. The daughter and her friends requested the farmer not to cut the tree. So, the third statement is false. Look at the fourth statement. The farmer promised that he will never cut the tree. Is that true? Yes. The farmer promised her daughter that she will never cut the tree. So, the fourth statement is true. Very good children. Shall we go to the next activity? Yes. Fill in the blank with the proper words from the list given below. Children, three new words are given. This is in your story only. These three words are given there. Shopping, outlive, delicious. So, you have to read the sentence and you have to find one proper word for each sentence and fill in the blanks. Okay? Shall we read the word? Shopping, outlive, delicious. Do you know the meaning of shopping? Yes, we know it already. Outlive. Yes, we know the meaning. Delicious. We know the meaning. Now, let me read the first sentence for you. The farmer felt that the tree had dash. What did the farmer feel about the tree? What did he say about the tree, children? He said that it is outlived. Outlived means what? So, what words should come there? The farmer felt that she had outlived. Very good children. Read out the second sentence. The farmer took his axe and began dash it. What did he do? After taking axe in his hand, what did he do? He started chopping it. What is the meaning of chopping? Chopping means cutting. So, the second word is chopping. Look at the third sentence, children. The apples were dash. Delicious. Delicious means tastiest. So, let me read from the first sentence. The farmer felt that the tree had outlived. The farmer took his axe and began chopping it. The apples were delicious. Very good. Children, now this is not given in your book or anywhere else. It's a question. I am asking you. Imagine what would happen if there is no tree on the earth. One by one you can answer me or you can take one paper and write Four lines about it. It is a task for you. Okay? What would happen if there is no tree on the earth? I am giving few points. If there is no earth means, first of all, what would happen? There will not be any rain. If there is no rain means, there will not be any water. If there is no water means, there is no creature on the earth. Nothing will be on the earth. So I am giving clues only. Okay, you only have to write four lines. You don't copy with anybody or anything. You imagine yourself what would happen if there is no tree on the earth. And write four lines. Will you do? Yes. Very good. Children, what did you learn from the story? I told you one story. I told you one Kavidai, which was written by Kavi Perarathu Vairamuttu. And I taught you one song. Yes. All these things you learned. So, what did you learn 
from the story these are very useful and they are part of our life every day we are using something from the tree but we don't realize it and we don't remember it also okay second thing you have to take some resolution resolution means what in tamil we say or mudivu edukonum resolution means theermanamana oru mudivu what is that never ever cut trees see whatever happens in your life you should not make an attempt in your life to cut a tree okay will you take a resolution children from today you take one resolution that i will never ever cut tree in my life okay okay very good next one plant a tree at least once in your lifetime children do you all do this yes what is that what is the third one at least one tree in my life i am going to plant one tree these are the moral of the story you should realize children what are the uses we are getting from the tree whenever you eat a fruit you think of that this fruit has come from one tree so i should be thankful to the tree okay when you use your pencil it has come from your tree when you walk your slipper has made by one tree so every day we are using things from the tree so we are using table chair many things okay all these things are from the trees only so we should be very thankful to our trees okay thank you children